friends, uh, this video is totally based on the case ASIC versus Wizard. We are five member in a group. We will describe about this the process of this case in this video. Uh, my name is Ramadi Kaur. My another group member are Jalpa, Simi, Rachna, and Vikas. We will all describe uh, about this case one by one by substituting the each part. Like firstly, we will describe about the introduction. Then. We will describe the duties or, and responsibilities that has been breached by the wizard in this case. And then we will do the critical analysis. And then further we will uh, discuss about the relevant decisions that has been developed by the Australian corporate law. Then at the end we will conclude about this case like what the lesson we have learned from this uh, case and uh, after having the research on case what we learned. We will, explain about this in at the end in the conclusion let's start with the introduction about this case uh, the case uh, is chosen review the study in the asic versus staff uh, stephen william this article considered the implication of the successful proceeding for the civil penalty and the disqualification order brought by the asic against stephen stephen was the guy who was a non-executive director of the telstra company as he was working uh, on the higher authority and he have a lot of information uh, lot of confidential information about the company because he was uh, working on the higher position and uh, but in this case he misused this, that information for his own interest like he started his own company creative technology investment and he used the information that are very beneficial of, for the company. He used that information for his own personal interest, such as he purchased software chaussee shares as well as key corporate shares. And uh, he sells shares in the computer share as well. Due to that, he earned a lot of money uh, for, his per uh, for his personal use. Uh, and uh, by using this uh, information for his personal use, he gained a lot of money. And by doing this, such illegal activities, he breached some sections, section 81, 181, section 182, and 183. And for breaching these sections, he had to pay the penalty as well. And he was disqualified from his position for 10 years. The uh, overall, the, this is the case totally based on the wizard, uh, who was the non-executive director. And further, we will discuss about the breaches uh, further explanation about the sections by the Jalpa. She will explain about the sections, the meaning of section, and how he breached this section uh, in this case. Let's Raman to explain us about the introduction. And um, as per the uh, Vizad was the director, uh, non-executive director of the Telstra company, and he breached three, uh, three, three sections. Um, as per my case, it's really been to the three sections. That section one is uh, he he breached uh, one section, section one eighty one, section one eighty two, and section one eighty three. In section one eighty one, he he can uh, he can uh, he he can be uh, like uh, maintain his honesty and trust towards the uh, company, but he breached his uh, like uh, he mis uh, misused his uh, like position and um, he broke the trust of the company and uh, he. Uh, in the 181, he he did maintain his trust and honesty. In section 183, uh, he can maintain his uh, like uh, he has a proper authority to man, uh, like have a information and uh, uh, he he misuse this information and share this information to the third party. And con uh, he uh, in se section 183 he misuse that uh, information. And uh, in section um, 182 he. He has a like lot of uh, responsibility and authority, and uh, he can maintain his position. Uh, but he misused his position as well. Uh, thanks. Um, uh, uh, next, next, uh, next topic is uh, discussed by the Vikas. Uh, topic about the critical analysis court decision. Uh, thanks, Jalpa. Now I'm going to analyze court decision. So court gave, court gave decision against Wizard because Wizard betrayed the trust. 
obviously yeah. wizard taking some internal took some internal information and used its for uh, its uh, personal purpose and make made money so that type of action is obviously gross tax uh, gross tax action and uh, that type of action is not that type of action is not ignored by the court as at the time of like that type of things uh, accused not assume that type of thing is going to too rust for the company so at, that's the that the reason just court decided that telstra not going to suffer from for the money losses and all that so in the next in the next decision court giving like some court taking something like strict decision against that type of things and that type of action so that's why federal court is decided to decided to put like some rules and law against that type of action so in the future uh, some of the director and some of the new employee they not going to like proceed with the type of uh, unbehavioral things and actions so thank you so much and now i'm going to uh, just call my one of the friend rachna for introduce another topic thank you, thank you vikas now i'm going to discuss about relevance of the decision to the development of australian corporations law in the past there was no strict rules about who misuse their position and misconduct the information with third party but these days the rules have been changed by australian government if someone breach the rules they have to pay high penalties as well as they disqualified from their position take a look at particular case in this case wizard breached the rules he used um, he misused his uh, high position as well as uh, he misconduct the information uh, with third party uh, because of his own uh, profit so uh, in this case uh, australian court decide to uh, bizar has to pay high penalties as well as he uh, he disqualified from their uh, position so overall uh, people uh, can learn from this case and they will never going to do this thing uh, they will never going to do this thing again and now one of my now one of the thing came to mind hey rashna now i would like to conclude my uh, the case in very precisely manner uh, the case is all about telstra company's non executive director wizard he had breached his duty as a uh, director of uh, such a well known company he has a uh, so many responsibility and authority uh, on his shoulder but did, uh, he has misused his position he has uh, uh, he has misused his position he also uh, not be not to be honest with his company and he uh, he shared the company's very confidential information with other companies so due to this according to the commonwealth of australian corporation act 2001 wizard misuse his position and uh, three he has breached three main duties of a director and uh, federal court had made decision about this that he should be he should have to pay a uh, fine 390000 and a 10 year ban from the management the amount is a very big and 10 year ban from the management will definitely affect his position prestige and a career this this kind of a good decision was not made earlier so it should be a milestone for the for future directors and employees so they should be very careful and not to do such kind of uh, uh, things with their company with their job and with their positions and they have to maintain the dignity of the company and her and his position thank you